Recently, I was playing around with the color ramp node in Blender, and I kind of made this weird-looking manga shader thing. I mean, it's nowhere perfect, but it's a very simple shader, and it took me around two minutes to make this thing up. You can get the entire scene and the shader and the model and material and everything on all from my Patreon page. There's also a lot of other stuff here, so if you want to check it out, just go ahead and, like, you know, subscribe to my Patreon or something to support the channel. So yeah, let's get started. Here's the basic setup of the scene. The scene has a few area lights and the background over here just uses a um, emission shader and it just combines it with a sort of like a hashing texture that I found from Google and I just, you know, sort of like placed it all over and, you know, stuff. And the main model consists of a few different nodes. The main one being the color ramp node and the texture coordinate node and the, um, you know, the mapping node for the hashing effect that you see in a manga, for some reason, that's a thing. Now it's made with the diffuse node, so it kind of reacts to the light, but you can get a similar effect using the emission node as well, but for that you're gonna have to uh, separately control the lighting using a texture coordinate and a mapping node. But I think just using a diffuse node is much easier. So using the diffuse node, like, makes the model react to the light, and depending on the light's intensity and position, you'd get the uh, manga shading effect. There are like, I added only two of the colors, but you can add more, but I don't think so manga has more than two types of shades. So yeah, anyway, you can also go with only like, you know, two different, like black and white, but I think black, white, and gray looks fine. By changing the color ramp values, you can determine when a particular color starts. And for the hatching effect, I used a texture that I found from Google, and then I like sort of, you know, projected it on top of the model, combined it with the um, tune shading effect. The hatching effect on the model is, like achieved with just combining a seamless hashing texture and you know projecting the tune shader on top of it. However, to get it properly to work, you're gonna have to project the UVs from the view mode or something. This could result some errors if you're trying to render an animation or something, but in my case it just worked out fine. I used the UV slot on the texture coordinate and just projected the uh, you know sort of the hashing effect on top of like underneath the tune shading and got this effect. For the outlines though, I didn't actually create any separate material. I just used the freestyle option that Blender gives on a CV render. Just go into the render tab or that small camera thingy and then just enable the freestyle and go to the layer tab and enable the options that I just enabled here except for the last two ones. You can see from here you can just get the freestyle, leave the, leave the settings to default if you want to like change it. Then underneath the color management, this is the huge part, okay? So from here you're going to have to change it to standard. Filmic doesn't work. You're going to have to go for standard because, I don't know, because uh, standard looks better. And from here, you're gonna have to select a few different ones. Now, depending on what kind of art style you're going for, if you want like the darker areas to be really dark, you can just go for a very high contrast or medium contrast, or you can just leave it to none or default, I don't know. For me, I think uh, a very high contrasty look gave me the perfect result that I was looking for. And then, you know, you can just change a few different options from here, like this one here, very high contrast things. So yeah, um, Overall, once you're happy with something that you got, you can just hit render and you'd get this thing and the freestyle would be applied on top of it. Now this works perfectly fine if your model has a lot of detail into it because then the freestyle strokes would be like, you know, properly displayed on top. And for the eye areas or the areas that you don't want there to be shading, you can just like separately select those UVs or the areas by control L and then just, you know, assigning a like a default black material on it or you know like i said before it's kind of a pain in the ass to make it work but you know you can do it by like separately selecting the models and you know like sort of like making sure that they're you know assigned with the appropriate material so there you have it a very low effort manga shader there's no complex shit all over it you can just use it at any model anything i don't know so yeah just make it yourself and you know the hashing effect and stuff etc etc I'm gonna leave a link in the description if you wanna, you know, use the hashing texture that I used. There's a lot of random stuff at my channel related to Unity or Blender or game development or, you know, some random stuff. So if you wanna check out more of these content, make sure to subscribe and check out my Patreon page if you wanna give me some food or, you know, you wanna support the channel or something. So yeah, thanks for watching and um, leave a like, leave a dislike, leave a comment.